The Ulila Foundation. Nine years founding an outreach anniversary. In cooperation with ABS-CBN Television Network Zamboanga Regional Station. Tamayos Veggie Products Distribution. And Energy Tech. Proudly present. Global Golden Hearts Awards. Season 3, Japan Edition. Organized by the philanthropist Mr. Joseph Salcedo de Leon. An award given to ordinary people with global accomplishments. Back to back with the crowning of Queen of Golden Hearts Season 2. August 13, 2017, Sunday, 1 p.m. At Hamayu Kaikan Hall, JR Kinugasa Station, Yokosuka City. Be there and be inspired. Global Golden Hearts Awards, Season 3, Japan Edition. Back to back with the crowning of Queen of Golden Hearts, Season 2. This event will be late telecast at ABS-CBN MAG TV program, Zamboanga City. We are preparing for our event which is the 9 years anniversary of the Global Golden Hearts featuring the Queen of Golden Hearts crowning. And in the preparation time, silipin natin, tingnan natin, mira kita. Teka si Miss Mayen. Hello Miss Mayen. Siya yung asawa ng may-ari ng Studio 101. Kaya kung kapag kailangan kayo, nandito kayo sa Japan, kailangan nyo ng uh, movie production, just contact them. Paano ba i-contact yung Studio 101, Miss Mayen? Uh, Mag-like lang sila sa Facebook page ng Studio 101. Yan. Si sabi ba ustedes, Eletemen del Uno, popular uh, uh, mujer aquí na Japan, isa sa mga famous dito photographer, volunteer photographer dito sa community ng Japan. Isa sa mga staff na tumutulong sa ating event ngayong araw na ito, si Mr. Jose. Hello, Jose. Yeah, isa siyang training dito, o training sa Japan. No? Ano ba yung trabaho mo dito sa Japan? Welder. Oh, welder. Tingnan nyo. Tuwing uh, may bakante sila, so, ang mga Pilipino dito sa Japan, nagtutulong-tulong no, para sa event natin. Nakikita ko na uno ng mga suki di Mio na uh, photography. Isa sa aking mga suki sa so, when it comes to uh, photography. Ang aking Hall of Famer awadi si Bonbon Garbanzo. So, magandang araw. Hello, magandang araw po sa kanilang lahat po. Kumusta ba? Paano ka nag-start bilang photographer dito sa Japan? Um, yung photography po ay talagang passion ko na. Um, Siguro, dahil sa naging experience kong dati naging missionary po ako and uh, I used to feel joy by giving. Uh, and so, siguro ang narealize ko sarili ko sa photography ko nakakatulong at nagiging mas saya. Uh, kaya pag nag-volunteer po ako sa isang event which is very uh, ano yung charitable, ayun, naging lalo akong naging masaya. Ah, si, pwede sa, pwede sa Tedes Mirad, mas del DC yung mga fotografiya. Akin na miyo Facebook, Mirad Tedes Bonbon, Bonbon Garbanzos. Uh, he's the owner of Garbanzo Studio sa Yokohama. Isa siya sa pinakamagaling na kumuha ng photos o letrato na uh, libre po dito sa Japan. So, di aura takikita ng mga queens di atin ang mga performers and the awardees. Nag-interview kita kanila pagkawa sa dila preparation. Eh, sa tabi na sabi ko sa rest, Ella de Zamwanga, buenos dias! Si Sandra, di kanila. Di atin outgoing, um, outgoing queen of Golden Hearts. Kaya tal at preparasyon? A uh, little bit nervous kasi walang tulog. <laughs> but Yan, sinat kita, no? De, sinat sinat ayuda yung, ko ng community. community. Si, kosa dito yung feeling? Kosa ito tasinti kay our LDTU ultimo dia? Uh, of course, uh, I'm happy because she's also my friend from Malaysia. I met her in Bangkok, Thailand. So, I'm glad she's here. Yeah, and yeah. I'm sure she can do what you did for the next one year, no? But this is not your last. Uh, we'll see you around. Okay. You know? And dito naman first runner up, si Queen Mercy Adner. Magandang araw. So, ano naman masasabi mo bilang uh, first runner up ng Queen of Golden Hearts? Maraming maraming salamat po Sir Joseph kasi naging part sa ako ng Ulila Foundation. Talagang 
ano, masarap sa loob yung ano. Yan. Maraming, maraming salamat din sa Gabay Organization na, na tumulong sa iyo, di ba? Representative ka ng Gabay. Thank you so much po talaga sa lahat. Yan! Diyaki kita! Diyaki kita! Diyaki kita! Ah! Diana Lynn Hava! Diana Lynn Hava is the owner of LL Duenio de Un International School. She is an awardee of the Global Guardian Heart Award. Thank you po! Kumusta po? Mabuti po! Paano naman yung... Ano masasabi yung tungkol sa school mo? Paano ka nag-start dyan? Ah... About dun sa school ko po, yung anak ko nagbigay ng idea sa akin to teach her an English language. So... Start for them. Nag-study ako how to teach English. Ngayon, ito na magiging 18 years coming na ang school ko. Yan. Mercedes, kay uno de mga sikat aki na Japan. Antes kasi sa abda sila. When you, when you say about uh, OFW na Japan, dancer, singer, gan ngayon di na. Karamihan dito ay mga English teachers. Aside from being mga artists, no? Marami ng mga magagandang uh, oportunidad dito sa Japan. At isa talking about singing, nandito ang ating awardee, si Ms. Mel Oshimaru. Uh, isa sa mga supporters natin, uh, paggawa ng mga design sa tarpaulin. Um, yung nga, bukod sa graphic arts, uh, I'm the designer ng mga layout uh, and uh, graphic, graphic arts. At, uh, Singing, yan. At uh, nagtitinda rin online, yun. Uh, si Chenny Tumensay, kanatun, akin na mga Chabacan, akin na Zamboang, akin na Mira, kanatun na Mark TV. Uh, kung sa dito yung mensahe, kung mayroon kang message sa mga nanonood dito sa Zamboang City uh, na gustong pumunta ng Japan, anong message mo? Uh, kung gusto nyo dito pumunta, hindi nyo pagsisisihan. At saka makikita nyo yung difference dyan sa Pilipinas at dito sa Japan. Kung gaano... Uh, ma, kumbaga yung discipline ng mga hapon na yan, number one kasi yan eh. Okay, muchas gracias si eh. uh, Ohala, okay, ako dito tayo to visit na, na Zamboanga. Uh, I hope that someday you can visit Zamboanga City. Uh, no? the, uh, Asia's Latin City. And we have here oh, the, the Princess of Golden Heart Philippines. Uh, si Princess Floreda Conde, isa sa mga very active natin. Yung nag-donate ng mga school supplies dyan sa Talon Talon Elementary School sa Sambuanga City. Princess Floreda Conde. Um, good morning po everyone. Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. I, uh, Mang Ketal, uh, nadya ito ng mga bisina sa Sambuanga. Uh, buenos dias sa lahat ng mga taga Sambuanga. Kumusta po kayo? Di ba pumunta ka ng April 4 yes doon po, para yes sa po. isang award din natin doon? Ano lang ang sasabi mo tungkol sa Sambuanga City? Well, ang Sambuanga City ay isang lugar na napakaganda na gusto naming balik-balikan dahil kahit sinasabing par siya ng Mindanao pero hindi mo mararamdaman yung ganong, ganong bagay pero napakaganda po talaga. Maraming salamat po! At si Lisa, ang nagbabalik nating singer. Yeah, thank you very much, Miss Lisa. Yeah. Happy to be part of your uh, program. Yes. So, ang okay, mga bisinas, i Aura, I introduce kita El Nuevo Queen of Golden Hearts from Malaysia. She's also the 2016 Mrs. Asian Universe. Uh, coming from Malaysia, me Samantha Go. So, how do you feel uh, being first time in uh, Japan for this award? Uh, yeah, very honored and thankful and for Joseph for nominating me. And um, yeah, it's a great experience and I'm glad to be able to help your foundation. Yeah, thank you very much. And she will be having a one year uh, job to help the foundation, though she will be uh, doing the the fundraising in Malaysia. So that's how we can help. Distance is not a problem. Kahit malayo tayo, pwede natin tulungan ang ating community by joining in such a competition. So, I will not disturb you because you are preparing yeah. for your makeup. See you later. Iaura ta kikita na uno de mga sponsors el uno de mga abogado aki na ciudad de Yokosuka City. Isa po sa mga international immigration lawyer dito sa Yokosuka na nagbo-volunteer po ngayon para sa free consultation when it comes to immigration issues. I have with me attorney Hirose and attorney Yamaguchi. How are you? Thank you. Yeah, he is also one of the awardees today as uh, inspiring a lawyer. We are giving free services. Uh, what do you say about your organization? Is uh, planning to uh, have uh, free consultation for mm -hmm. uh, foreigners also, mm -hmm. in addition to uh, Japanese. Yeah. So which was started, which started uh, this year, mm -hmm. and hope uh, people to 
Many people come to us. Japan. Ah, I yes. see. So what can you say about people from the Philippines who wants to come to to Japan but they have a problem about getting visa? Yes. What is your advice? Yes, not only the visa, mm -hmm. and, but also uh, usual life, ah, yeah. travel, mm -hmm. and also uh, any travel with administrative procedures. Mm -hmm. All right, so ang mga mga bisinos, el uno del uh, mga abogado aki na Japan, kaya aura, el yato mga bisita ay pwede sa kakonsultasyon, no? Para si kere sila tiene visa para andaki na Japan, uh, pwede kanila dale advice. Si attorney Yamaguchi and attorney Hirose. Okay, see you later. Yes. Otra vez ta vira kita aki na Yokosuka City, el nombe Hamayu Kaikan, es un hall, que ta kita ara el 9 años del Outreach Anniversary Foundation, del just de servidor, si Joseph Salcedo de Leon, de Zamboanga, el Jatun Awards Night. I ataki kumigo el uno del mga staff, que ta ayuda kumigo ahora, isa sa as staff ko dito ngayong araw, ay si Miss Jenny, assign po siya as Ashwet. Kumusta? Jenny. Okay lang po, masaya na nandito ngayon. So, anong preparation para sa araw na to para maging Ashwell? Ito, tinitignan ko yung mga dapat gawin, mm -hmm. lahat, dapat ay, maayos lahat, naka-prepare lahat. So, isa sa mga gusto ko kat sa iyo, isang beses ko rin sinabi sa iyo kung pwede ka mag-volunteer. Yes. Talagang nag-yes ka. Anong yes, advice mo yes. sa mga tao? Basta, mga nakakatulong ka sa kapwa mo, Mag-yes ka talaga. Masarap sa puso, sa pakiramdam. Now, I would like to call on one of the awardees, Mr. Josel Palma. Okay? Mr. Josel Palma is uh, the president of Panay Group of Islands, uh, serving how many years? Uh, I would like to correct. Uh, I'm the president of the Philippine Federation of Panay Islands in Japan for yes. four years. Since my term already finished, so I was uh, designated as board of director. Oh yeah. So, kumusta naman yung uh, mga araw mo, uh, yung ikaw ay presidente? Ano mga accomplishments mo sa organization na yan? Uh, during my term as uh, president of the Philippine Federation of Panay Islands in Japan, we have done several projects in all the provinces of Panay Islands. Uh, specifically in Antiki, we have one classroom uh, constructed. In Aklan, we have the stage of Mapos Elementary School. In Iloilo City, we have several projects. No? First, in uh, Binulwangan Elementary School in Carles, one classroom. In uh, Kinalkalan Elementary School in Balasan, we have uh, water facility supply. And uh, in Lawis Elementary School, also in Balasan, we have the repair of the three-classroom Marcos-type building. So, ano naman yung mensahe mo sa mga nanonood sa atin? Uh, ano ba yung kaligayanan na kukuha natin bilang leader ng isang organization? Ano masasabi mo uh, sa mga nanonood sa atin para ma-inspire naman sila para naggumawa ng ganitong mga charity works? Uh, anyway, uh, to become a leader is not uh, hard because to handle responsibility, you have to do a lot of patience, a lot, uh, on, uh, a lot of ways on how to deal with your uh, constituents. And uh, I am happy that uh, in all my projects in our, or in all our activities, everybody uh, supported us. Not only uh, the Panaynon alone, but also the other uh, Filipino communities here in Japan. Uh, for all uh, uh, becoming leaders, I uh, encourage you to be one it's because uh, it's uh, nice to feel that you have shared your blessings. Okay. Uh, yan, yan. Na-interview natin si Mr. Joseph Palma, isa rin sa mga supporters ng Ulila Foundation. By the way, as a closing, ano naman yung feeling mo na isang party ka ng Ulila Foundation Awards? Uh, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate the Ulila Foundation for its ninth year uh, anniversary, especially to the founder, Mr. Joseph Salcedo de Leon. And uh, it is a great honor and privilege for me to be one of the recipients of this uh, uh, noble uh, outreach. No? So to all of you there, why not support the Ulila Foundation and be a, cha a part of a charity program. Yes, maraming salamat po. Ako mong kailal, yatong presidente del unidem organization aki na Japan, si Mr. Joseph Palma. E, we are with one of the awardees. He's a former policeman in the Philippines. 
Police Inspector uh, Dominador Alegre na nandito sa Japan bilang sketch artist. Alam nyo ba yung birthday ko? Nagtaka ako na gumawa siya ng uh, pencil sketch. Talagang very inspiring ang kanyang ginawa. Good morning, uh, Mr. Dominador Alegre. Good morning. Okay. So, paano ka napunta dito sa Japan? It was through a scholarship grant. And uh, I decided to stay after my scholarship. Yeah. Because there were so many offers that time. Mm -hmm. from English schools here in Japan. So, he, you are a former police in the Philippines? Yeah, I'm a police caricature artist in the Philippines. I make pictures of the criminals described by the witnesses. So, anong mensahe mo sa mga nanonood sa atin? Don't lose hope. Be sure that you can go on and on. Move on and use your talent in a maximized way. Yon, di ba? Kahit nandito na sa Japan, tumutulong siya sa community sa pamamaraan ng pag-sketch uh, ng mga pictures. So, maraming salamat po. Muchas gracias Isa sa mga sponsors natin. Uno lang dyan itong sponsor aki na uh, Yokosuka City Tamayo Kaikan is Dr. Tamayo from the Tamayo Veggies Products Corporation. Uh, alam nyo, may sakit ako last time. Ang nagpagaling lang sa akin, itong kanyang Miracle Coffee. Uh, magandang araw po, Dr. Tamayo. Yes, magandang araw. Magandang umaga rin sa inyo lahat. Ayan. Uh, Di ba pumunta ka last April 4 at na-introduce mo yung mga produkto mo doon sa Philippine National Red Cross. Kumusta naman ang development doon sa iyong mga pasyente sa Zambon City? Actually, continuous. Actually nga, yung uh, mami ni Wada uh, nag-undergo uh, na siya sa dialysis. Ngayon, uh, minsan na lang siya mag-dialysis weekly. Dapat three times a week. So, continuous taking the products. Then the products, continue order of Dr. Aileen. In uh, Rusty to distribute for the part of the work the Red Cross in Zamboanga. Good, good news. Okay, so yon and mga bisino, sa alina Red Cross Zamboanga, uh, si Dr. Ruste, siya po ang nagdi-deal ng Tamayos Veggies product. So, with on my right is Princess uh, Florida Conde, ang uh, speaker ng Tamayos uh, Company. Uh, siya yung uh, spokesperson uh, ng Tamayos Company. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning sa inyo lahat. Mga taga-Sambuanga, good morning po. Oh, yan. So, ano bang produkto ang maganda dito i-promote para lalong-lalo na sa mga very stressful na mga tao ngayon uh, brought by different uh, stressors? Ano bang produkto dito ang maganda? Uh, actually, Sir Joseph, lahat ng produkto namin ay maganda. Pero meron talaga kami isang produkto na carrier na, na siya talaga yung siya yung nagbibigay ng sabi natin energy sa araw-araw natin pamumuhay. So ito po yung alkaline. Ah. Yung alkaline, yung get me up, ito yung nag-neutralize ng lahat ng acid na nagkukos ng sakit sa, sakawan, sa katawan natin. So pag ininom po natin, ito ay nagkakaroon tayo ng enerhiya na para masustine ang ating ginagawa sa araw-araw. Plus, so meron po kaming veggie coffee, meron din po kaming power lab capsule na siyang tumutulong para mabalanse ang ating katawan dulo uh, papunta doon sa magandang kalusukan. Yon. So, yung mga gustong uh, mag-order ng products na ito, ano bang pwede nilang gawin sa Facebook? Halimbawa okay. sa Facebook. Visit lang po tayo sa Facebook ni uh, Dr. Sibilio Tamayo. Uh, Sibilio Tamayo. Meron din po tayong website. Uh, uh, just go to tamayo-essentials. So, visit nyo lang po yon. And meron din po kaming numbers uh, kung saan pwede nyo tawagan ang 0921-998-5861 at 0928-378-473 So, bukas po yan, all the time So, yun po, uh, isa sa mga awardees natin si Dr. Sevilio Tamayo and the Princess Florida Conde na tumutulong sa ating foundation Muchas gracias, MAG-TV Zamboanga for sponsoring our awards 9 uh, years anniversary of the Global Golden Heart Awards at pinapakita nyo dito sa ABS-CBN Mindanao Regional Station. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 9 years anniversary of the UNA Foundation featuring the third edition of the Global Golden Heart Awards back to back with the crowning of uh, the Queen of Global Golden Hearts. My name is Joseph Salcedo de Leon. I plan each charted course, each careful step upon the pathway, and more, much more than this, I did it by.
last year's first runner-up, Queen Mercy Abner, to do the crown. To be crowned by our first runner-up of last year. Ladies and gentlemen, our second runner-up this year, Queen Ernaline Manio. To do the imposition of Sash, may I call on her mom, Miss Gina. I would like to thank uh, the Princess of the Philippines, Princess Florida and Tamaya Begis for sponsoring our crowns and sashes. Our Queen, let's now listen to her speech. Ladies and gentlemen, our second runner-up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Gina. And now, let's have the crowning of our first runner-up, Queen Veronica Yagi. To crown her, may I call on last year's first runner-up. To do the crowning, may I call on the second round of last year to be represented by the husband, Mr. Sarah. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up and Mr. Sarah representing me, Miss Maria Mi Salcedo, to do the crowning. And please stay for the imposition of the sash. Please bring the sash. would like to thank to Yamato Catholic Filipino Church, to Couple of Christ, to all my friends, for helping me bring out my shining golden heart to show my inner beauty through this event. As a queen, I have been involved in different activities in my community, projects and outreach mission. Today, it's just a start of rule as queen with a golden heart, which I will be serving the mission of the Olila Foundation of Sir Joseph de Leon until I, I will return over my crown in August 2018. I do promise to get involved in different charity activities during my range and let my inner beauty shine by helping, uh, by helping others. May I be an inspiration to other women that our inner beauty from our golden heart can make this world a better place. To outgoing Queen Sand Sandra Nagumo, Mercy Agner, Maria Mary Celdo, Contanares, Shehain Ortiz, and Diana Ruiz, may your legacy of serving the activity of Sir Joseph de Leon be our inspiration to do the same 
and for us to leave a legacy for the next queen next year. So help me God. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Buenos Dias, Martini Zambuanga, Este Aldiatun's first runner-up, Bell, Queen of Goldenarks 2017. Muchas gracias, Mas de Aldiatun, mga queens. And now, after serving for one year, she has been part of the Olina Foundation from serving our different charity events, from donations for the construction of watershed in different schools, construction of schools in Zamboanga City in particular. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have the final walk of the 2016 Queen of Golden Hearts, Her Majesty, as she say goodbye to us. Queen Sandra Nagumo the First. Play with your please. Hello everyone, this is Queen Sandra Nagumo, Queen of Golden Hearts 2016. Being crowned as Queen last August 2016, I had the chance to help many children through the projects of the Olila Foundation of Sir Joseph Salcedo de Leon. The donation of TV sets at some one city has been made. The construction of the new closet at a yellow central school and the Boan Central School were among our projects. I also became very active in different charity activities and was awarded in that of Thailand. As I am about to turn over my crown to the new Queen of Golden Hearts, May my legacy be an inspiration to all of you to always share our time and blessings to others. Once again, thank you to Sir Joseph DeLeon and the Elena Foundation for always there as my advisor to me my friend, to my family and friends, my homemade candidates. May God bless us all. Babu Mai. Ladies and gentlemen, our very active Queen of Golden Hearts 2016 who has served the Foundation in several projects. Not only as projects, but being present in our activities. And now, she will be um, replaced by our new Queen from Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowning of this year's Queen of Golden Hearts 2017, Queen Samantha Go, to be crowned by our outgoing Queen, Queen Sandra Nagumo Burtano, or Burtano Nagumo the first. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have our new Queen of Golden Hearts. We will be serving our charity events for another year even though she is in Malaysia. Just showing that distance is not a problem. Just like our awardees today, who will be telling stories that they are serving their country even though they are in Japan. To do the imposition of such, may I call on Miss Amy and Dr. Tanacho. Thank you. 
Lily Queen Samantha Go. Let's now listen to her inspiring message. Thank you, Attorney. I, Queen Samantha Go, crowned as the winner of Golden Globes 2017. I would like to thank Sir Joseph, TKS and Sons Pageant Mrs. International, Miss Beverly Tan, and my family for helping me bring out my shining heart, golden heart to show my inner beauty through this event. As a queen, I've been involved in different activities in my community. On April 29 this year, funds were raised and donated to the local Ofuk's home during my charity lunch in Malaysia. I also sold my pageant gowns online to other queens, namely Sandra Nagumo and Nanfon Bennett from New Zealand and Asia from Malaysia to raise funds for the ULILA Foundation. Today is just the start of my role as Queen of Golden Hearts, which I will be serving the missions of the ULILA Foundation of Sir Joseph until I turn over my crown in August 2017. I do promise to get involved in different charity events during my reign and let my beauty, inner beauty shine by helping others. May I be an inspiration to other women that our inner beauty from our golden hearts can make this world a better place. To the outgoing queens, Sandra Nagumo, Mercy Egna, Maria May Salcedo, Shahani Otis and Diana Lewis, may your legacy of serving the activities of Sir Joseph be our inspiration to do the same for us to leave a legacy for our next queens next year. Thank you. Muchas, muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. We are live at ABS CBN San Juan Gamak TV show. That's ladies and gentlemen, our new queen of Golden Hearts will be serving our city of San Juan just like what the outgoing queen did last year. And there is another woman who is serving the Philippines in different ways. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have the crowning of Princess of Golden Hearts Philippines, Princess Floreta Conde. To crown her, may I call on Dr. Sevilla Tamayo. So we'd like to inform our televiewers of Mac TV watching us today at ABS again San Buanga that we are crowning the Mary Quest Queen Mercy to please bring the camp. And to award the bouquet, may I call on our special uh, volunteer from Thailand. We have Miss Amy Usui. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have Princess of Golden Hearts Philippines, Queen Loretta Conde. Thank you, Dr. Tamaya. Thank you, thank you, Miss Usui and Queen Mercy. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the formal ceremony of the third edition of Global Golden Heart Awards. This is an award given to ordinary people around the globe who makes an impact to the globe through their simple acts of concern to humanity by using their golden hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, the first awardee. We have Global Inspiring Regional TV Show, ABS Event, Mag TV, Zamboanga. On behalf of the Mag TV Regional Show in Zamboanga, where we are going to air this show, we'd like to thank everyone for your continuous patronage to this TV show every Saturday, all here at ABS Event, Zamboanga. On behalf of Cali Bernardo, Efren McMahon, and Kati, for the host, 
manager and the producer of the show, who would like to thank ABS event, Mac TV, the Adoneste, our global inspiring regional TV show. A big round of applause to our regional TV station in Zamboanga City. Our next awardee is also from Zamboanga City, global inspiring benevolent businesswoman, Miss Adela Chong. Because of martial law in Zamboanga, she cannot make it today with us. She wants to congratulate everyone as she continues to serve the community to her business. As an owner of a beach resort serving the community, Miss Adela Chong is really a global inspiring benevolent businesswoman. Ladies and gentlemen, our awardee from Zamboanga City, the businesswoman, Miss Adela Chong. Our next awardee, right here at ABS Event Zamboanga for the nine years anniversary of the Olita Foundation, Global Inspiring International Language School owner and president, Miss Annie Yamon Kotake. May I call on the presenter, Miss Marcy? Ladies and gentlemen, our inspiring international school owner, Miss Annie Yamon Kotake. Let's go listen to our inspiring speech. Mina Sankovichiwa, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My, my speech is only simple. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God because uh, He gave me the real meaning, the real action, the real meaning of Golden Hearts. And secondly, thank you to my family, the Potake family, the Yaman family, the Kiantana School. Thirdly, uh, thank you Sir Joseph for being, for being kind to us and chosen Ani Yaman Potake, one of the awardee. Uh, as Ani Yaman, uh, I'm helping since when I was elementary up to the present, uh, helping to those less privileged and deprived members of the Philippines. Uh, my important message was the, the ORDs, please keep your kind, keep your, uh, what you call this, your being a golden heart, uh, and Good luck to us. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. Doon ko anong katulog sa Simons. May nasang kiti ko na sa atin mo ko doon anong katulog sa Simons. Doon ko anong katulog sa Simons. Our next award is the Vice President of Yokosuka International Immigration Lawyers Association. Global Inspiring International Immigration Lawyer from Japan. Attorney Kyose Hiroshi. Or Attorney Kyose Hiroshi. To present the award, Ms. Ria call on Attorney Yamaguchi. Ladies and gentlemen, our international immigration lawyer, attorney Joshi Hiroshi, from Yokosuka City Hall. Let's now listen to his inspiring message. Thank you, attorney Maguchi. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, it's a great cause of joy uh, to extend uh, my hearty uh, gratitude uh, to be here. and. Uh, to receive such a honorable award. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, our association 
and uh, the city, Yokosuka city government is giving uh, jointly, uh, <coughs> uh, consulting every, every month at the uh, city hall and the nine uh, centers. And uh, the Filipino community is the greatest, uh, largest, powerful, the most powerful community in Yokosuka. And uh, I myself devote myself to uh, serving uh, the people. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for nice. Uh, thank you very much, international immigration lawyer, attorney, Kyoshi Hirose. Our next award, you ladies and gentlemen, Global Inspiring Hall of Fame awardee as a volunteer photographer in Japan, Mr. Bonbon Garbanzo. May I call on our first runner-up, Ms. Mercy, from there to please win the trophy, and Sash Kim Jo Sir. He's a Hall of Fame awardee as a volunteer photographer. are the awardees of the Global Golden Heart Awards for the first edition, second edition, and the third edition. Thank you, King Joe Serra and Queen Mercy Amir. Let's now listen to his inspiring message. Buenas hapon po sa inyong lahat sa Sambuanga Ibisibian and to Sir Joseph De Leon and the rest of uh, the awardees here. Um, Sir Joseph De Leon, founder of Lila Foundation, dear friends and ladies and gentlemen. It is extremely gratifying and an honor to receive this award from the Lila Foundation and its founder, Sir Joseph De Leon, who is among the persons I most honor in my professional and personal life. I think I am blessed beyond my wildest dream to not only receiving the award once, but twice. I am happy to know that there are people who appreciate and value my work. During my adolescence, I was part of a religious movement, and as a missionary, I had opportunity to travel around within and outside the Philippines. Those experiences have left me with much more open eyes and highly attentive ear, which enabled me to see the world in a whole new perspective. And I tell you, there are people who lost hope, just breathing, but not living, alive, but dying inside. These people talk, cry, scream for help, but still nothing would come on their way because that is how the world, sadly, has turned out to be. They need help. And we are more than capable to do so if we are only willing. People who have infinite ways to help, in my case, photography is my means. That is why, as a photographer, the least I can do is to use the skills I have worked hard to have, the skills that I have developed throughout the cold early mornings and late evenings, editing thousands of images for hours to help those in need. Involuntary as a photographer in events that raise money for charitable purposes, I know to myself that what I am giving is not just a mere service to those I take picture of, but rather a hope to those on the verge of losing it. It is for this reason that I joined the Olila Foundation by using my skills on charitable activities as a support to projects for a higher cost. It is in giving that I experience joy and happiness, just by the fact that through photography, I am able to partly contribute in alleviating the circle condition of those people who hope to help. We hope to help. 
Having experienced being a missionary, I believe the principle of giving and that I believe that true joy comes not by receiving, but by giving. It is such an honor to be part of a group of extraordinary people who initiate, pioneer, and spearhead advocacy through charitable projects and activities. Thank you very much, Sir Joseph Ayan, and Thank you, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. That's our awarding Hall of Fame, awarding Mr. Bambam Garbanzas, inspiring photographer in Japan. Moving on with the next awardee, as we celebrate the 9 years anniversary of the Little Foundation, we bring you the third edition of Global Golden Heart Awards. We have Global Inspiring Filipina English School Owner in Japan, Diana Lynn Hava. May I call on our outgoing uh, Queen, Miss Sandra, to please present the trophy. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our global inspiring owner of an international school, inspiring other women that we can make other source of living in Japan, being an owner of a school. Ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to our message. Mayong hapon sa inyong atanan. Ako si Diana Lane Hava. Nagtako ako sa Negro Occidental, Bacolod City. Dulce Kabika, magutod. Ang parents ko, they are drivers and made from the ang ganon niya tao sa amon niya lugar sa Bacolod City. So I am the ninth kids of my parents. Kagigado lang kami. So, but I think very much that um, they um, they give us educate until junior high school lang. Pero happy kami kaya kami sa isa isa. Now, I would like to thank the Lola Foundation founder, Mr. Joseph. Thank you for inviting me to to be here. And I am founder of MML Learners Corporations. That's the name of my company name. And also founder of two foundations. Sam Pagita no Kai in Akita Ken. That was a voluntary made for the Filipino needed help for their lifestyle in the countryside in Aguila. And then Rainbow Heart, that it was a foundation of helping people from disaster that is built in Kushma. That I just like connect Kushma to Philippines to um, um, tie our hands during the um, disaster and other calamities in this global earth. I'm living here for 30 years and I've faced so many challenges and struggles. The very first big challenge in my life was to take a driver's license with limited knowledge of Japanese characters at the age of 21. I was the first Filipina who took the Japanese license in the northern part of Japan. And was, I'm so excited because I learned how to read Japanese characters in a, and how to drive along the meters and meters of snow in Aksita. 
And I organized a Filipino foundation for studying Japanese language in captures. By the way, we are the first Japanese uh, study lesson in Akita, in northern part of Japan. One day, it was my first daughter that who gave me an idea to teach English. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. However, I was just a high school graduate, and I was not really ready to teach her. So, my second biggest challenge was to study English and to, and to start an English conversational school and Oshiban school. Actually, I'm Oshiban artist too. Thank you very much. That's our event, uh, yes. um, uh, our deal. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Dan Java, Global Inspiring Filipina English Teacher in Japan. Thank you so much. Our next awardee is from Western Mindanao State University. Global Inspiring Benevolent University Language Teaching and Research Educator, Dr. Claire Madrazo. She is a professor at the age of uh, her early 20s. Ladies and gentlemen, from Western Mindanao State University, Dr. Claire Air Madrazo. Our next awardee is from USA. Global Inspired Multi Awarded Benevolent Healthcare Leader in the USA, Dr. Glenn Pasquale. He cannot make it just today, but he wants to reach out every uh, activities we have. A good luck and more power to us. Global Inspired Multi Awarded Benevolent Healthcare Leader in the USA, Dr. Glenn Pasquale. Another party from Philippine National Red Cross serving the Malawi uh, uh, fallen soldiers and the victims of uh, Malawi siege, which is still happening now. Global inspiring lifesaver through the Red Cross advocacy, Dr. Maria Elin Ruste. She cannot make it today, but she wants to uh, send her regards to all the parties and for you to continue your benevolent deeds. Ladies and gentlemen, Global Inspiring Lifesaver through the Red Cross Advocacy, Dr. Malin Ruste. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next awardee, Global Inspiring Hall of Fame awardee, as Veggie Products Formulator, Dr. Sebilio Tamayo. May I call on the Princess of the Philippines, Princess Florella, to please present the trophy. And we have our really crown queen to please do the honor in the imposition of the Hall of Fame sash. Queen Samantha Go. Dr. Tamayo is our awardee for the third time, so he's qualified to be Hall of Fame awardee of the Olila Foundation. Thank you, Queen of Golden Hearts 2017, Samantha Go, and Princess of Global Golden Hearts, Princess Florea. Let's now listen to his inspiring message. Good afternoon. Maalang hapon, magandang tanghali sa buong gabay ng Sias. Magandang hapon po, Mr. Joseph De Leon and our audience and the audience. Salamat sa Diyos. As itong award na ito ay dapat ipagmamalaki sa isang Pilipino at sa isang tao nagsika na sa isang invention o nakapag-promulate ng produkto para sa lahat ng tao. The first advocacy. Then dreams. 
the products the internet in Japan and to serve the Filipino Japanese then the world, world government the, the products in Philippines 27 years to serve the people the people sick and the people the problems about the Sulukman. Now in Philippines to open new marketing, direct selling and a pass up marketing to help the people, then to help the sickness people. Then the myself continues the research and continues to, to help the people. Thank you very much. Our whole family ID. Our next ORD is from Thailand. Global is inspiring a multi awarded model young medical researcher and inventor of medicine for the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, from Thailand, Dr. Kanachote Tamanacha. Or Dr. Kanachote Tamanacha. To present award, may I call on Ms. Amy Su. From Taiwan, Dr. Tanacho Tamaka. Thank you, Ms. Amy Ustu. Let's now listen to his message. Good afternoon, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Tanacho Tamaka. I come from Thailand. I say in Thailand, Sawadika. Uh, Sawadi is me. Hello. Uh, I feel excited to receive the awards, Golden Purse Award in Thailand. Ah, I want to say thank you to Mr. Joseph and all staff to this company and to I feel happy very much this company. Ah, I want to say uh, my research. Uh, for 10 years ago, I researched about the Thai herbal medicine for replace the chemical chemical that because the extract from the Thai herbal is safety more than chemical. I hope to new find the new drugs to help people around the world. So finally, I thank you everybody in staff and Please to clap your hand, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next award is Global Inspiring Philanthropies Helping the Community Events in Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, El Susan Takeuchi. May I call on the first runner-up of our Queen of Golden Hearts 2017, Queen Veronica Yagi, to present the trophy. Thank you, Queen Veronica. Ladies and gentlemen, global inspiring community philanthropies to her volunteer works for community events in Japan. Oh, Susan Takeuchi. Let's now listen to her message. Uh, distinguished guests of honor, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Wow, I am not expecting this. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for all these blessings. I am truly honored to receive this award. And also, I thank my dearest husband, who is always very supportive in all of my undertakings. Thank you so much, my darling. He's right there. He's trying to come up here. Wow. Uh, I don't have much thing to say about myself, but uh, I would like to thank you, Sir Joseph Salcedo, the founder of Olila Foundation and Golden Hearts Awarding Body, 
Thank you very much, sir, for that. More than I can put into words. Mm. Sir Joseph is a man with a good sense of humor. A courageous man who worked hard and put his talent and time organizing an event like this. Very wonderful. Uh, I am not a rich person, but I am rich in heart. In my 25 years stay in, the, in Japan, I spend my life helping others. I help people in my hometown who were once a victim of Typhoon Pablo. So, uh, last year I was the press relations of, officer of Kimono Global Organization. And starting this year, I become also the secretary of JPCO, it means Japan Philippine Cultural Exchange Organization, a secretary. Uh, thank you very much and God bless us all. Our next award from the Little Philippines, Global Inspired Hall of Fame Award, as a company president and energy saver, Engineer Rene Aguilar. And to receive his award, may I call on Dr. Sabina Tamayo. To present the award, may I call on Ms. Loretta Bondergen, the Princess of Golden Heart Philippines, to present the trophy. Dr. Sabina Tamayo, who received the award? Because God is the key of what you are doing now. That is His message sent last night. Once again, Global Inspiring Motor Award and Company President and Energy Saver, Engineer Lene Aguilar. Next awardee is the President of Graphics K Studio, Global Inspiring Layout Artist and Graphic Arts Designer and Philanthropist, Ladies and gentlemen, Imelda Ushimari. It's a stand award. Ms. Judith Oki to present the trophy. Thank you, Judith Oki. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now listen to the inspired message of Nelda Ushimari. Hello, friends. Good afternoon. I am extremely honored to be receiving such an important award, the Golba Golden Hearts Awards. As you heard, my name is Imelda Ujimal, or just call me Sarah, just this is my stage name when I perform on stage. I put up this company, Mel's Graphic Arts and Painting Studio, in 2010, and later on, we decided to change the company name into Graphics K Studio together with my husband, and since then, I've worked with marketing, content, and analytics departments in varying capacities, which is why we're here today. It's an honor to be rewarded and recognized for your work, but this moment is much bigger than me. Let me tell you that it is not just my sole effort that has brought me here. I would like to make a special mention of a man, a teacher, who saw my talent and honed it such that I am now standing here and talking to all of you about it. Everyone needs such a good person in life, and we are lucky to have found him. This moment is for the man that stands beside everyone, inspire, and inspire us and help more than 20,000 children through the Lila Foundation. Without this man, there will be no Global Golden Hearts Awards. Who recognize each of our good deeds? honoring ordinary people around the globe, like me, and my co-awardees, who is willing to give and share the blessings to those who are in need. Friends, may I request a big applause for our Sir Joseph De Leon for his unconditional love to everyone. I would also like to thank and share this award to the many volunteers of the Olila Foundation, who worked tirelessly to help Sir Joseph achieve this accomplishment. Thank you to my goddess and building advocacy institution, our Gabay family, for the, uh, 
excuse me, for the unconditional love and support to our group and for using your voice to express your confidence with me. I also want to share this recognition to every nameless and faceless philanthropist serving and giving from the bottom of their hearts without expecting in return. Thank you God for every opportunities you gave me. I am earnestly grateful for the recognition I have received for my work because I am very sure that every other awarding was as capable, if not more, of winning this award. I have faced several challenges on my way here, but each one of them has only strengthened me to make me the person I am today. A wife, a mother, and a friend who knows exactly what she wants. Someone who sets her eyes on a goal and does not lose sight of it unless it is achieved. Receiving this recognition award would not have been possible without the inspiration I have received from my seniors and my colleagues, for whom I have the deepest respect and from whom I have derived the strength to challenge myself and perform better at each stage. I would like to share this recognition to my loving family and friends for their unending support. And I sincerely thank every, each one of you, my friends and my family, for helping me reach a stage where I can proudly hold up this award as a mark of my achievement. On a closing note, all I want to tell each one of you present here today is that you should never, never, never give up, even if you are convinced that it's all over. It's not over unless you want it to be, and a true example of this is me, standing right here in front of you. Thank you very much. Is global inspired female recording artist in Japan, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Alejandro. And I call on our second runner up, Miss uh, Queen Mania, to please present the trophy. Thank you. Thank you, Queen Ernotin Mani. Let's now listen to the message of our global inspiring piano recording artist in Japan, Mr. John Alejandro. Well, a uh, beautiful afternoon to all of you. Happy Sunday. Um, thank you so much for this uh, wonderful award and for recognizing my uh, talent. Actually, I'm not prepared to give you a speech, so this is an impromptu. First of all, um, I'm surprised. Thank you, Sir Joseph, for uh, recognizing my, my gift uh, as a songwriter and a recording artist, singer, and an indie album producer. I'm, I'm actually promoting my album here in Japan, entitled Umulan San Opera, all originals, there are English, Japanese, and Tagalog compositions included in my album. So, let's uh, you to give me uh, an award like this. And uh, I would like to share, I always like my track, I would like to share this uh, beautiful trophy to all of my friends, especially some of co co-singers who are here in Japan who also inspired me, and especially to my kids, to JP and to Patricia Ann. And um, I would like to acknowledge uh, that I am nothing, my talent is nothing, my gift is nothing without God. And my boy po, lahat ng mga uh, singers, Mabuhay po ang Pilipino dito sa Japan. Thank you, Magpaw, the next award team. We have Global Inspiring Influential Organization Leader and President, Mr. Joselle Pong. And to present the award, may I call on Ms. Samantha Gold from Malaysia. Thank you.
Miss Samantha Go, our Queen of Golden Hearts 2017, and Mrs. ASEAN of the Universe. Let's now listen to the message of Mr. Giselle Paul. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, uh, Mr. Joseph Palma, the past president of the Philippine Federation of Panay Islands in Japan, and uh, currently the, the board of directors. And then, at the same time, I am also the head security of the Philippine Festival, where in the only Filipino community event, which is supported by our Philippine Embassy. And then, at the same time again, for the third time, I am also the Samurai News Correspondent of Bongo Radio Philippines. So, as a, a leader, uh, I have so many tasks to do. But first and foremost, I thank God for giving me wisdom and uh, advocacy to give support to our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the Philippines. And of course, I would like to congratulate also the Olila Foundation for its ninth year anniversary and to its founder, Sir uh, Joseph Salcido de Leon. So, as a leader, for four years, I have done so many projects in the Philippines, most specifically in the provinces of Panay Islands. We have uh, one classroom unit in the province of Antiki, a learning center in the Panay Bukit Nun, the indigenous uh, uh, barangay of uh, Tapascapis, and then one state in the province of Aklan, and then we have also uh, several projects in the province of Iloilo, uh, specifically the Dinolwangan Elementary School, one classroom, the Kinalkalan uh, Elementary School, the Water Facility Supply, the Lawis Elementary School, the repair of the three classrooms, the Marcos Type Building Classroom, the Kinangyan Elementary School, the roofings of the whole elementary school which was damaged by Typhoon Yolanda, the two digital microscope to San Enrique National Comprehensive High School Special Science Class, to Ramon Dinaman Memorial National High School, one uh, digital compound microscope, to Dakotun Elementary School, Dumarao Capis, uh, one home economics building, and now we have an ongoing project in the province of Guimaras, which is uh, in Parabulon Island, the water catchment project. So, it is not uh, only for me, no? This award, I credit this award to all of the officers and members of the Philippine Federation of Panay Islands in Japan, and also to all Philippine organizations here in Japan who always supported our events. Without their support, we, could do, uh, we cannot do nothing. So thank you for all of you. And also, I credit this award to all my batchmates in high school, as well as in college because of their inspiring uh, messages, their enlightenment, it continues to give me more uh, encouragement to do better. So, once again, thank you very much. Next, we the President of the Bar Organization, Global Inspiring Hall of Fame awardee as a businesswoman, as an awardee of the best woman magazine in the Philippines, and a philanthropist, ladies and gentlemen, Judy Oki. And to present the trophy, may I call up Miss Nawi? Thank you, officers of the Bio Organization, Ms. Naui and Ms. Anabel, which Ms. Judy Oki is the president and serving different communities. Ladies and gentlemen, our global inspiring multi awarded businesswoman, the Hall of Fame awardee, Judy Oki. Let's listen to her message. As a global uh, inspiring, uh, let's start with the business. I start doing business at, at the age of eight years old to struggle in life because I came from a poor and big family. 
to survive and uh, finish our college. So that's how I start my, my be having a business. And right now I have a, a rest of our Philippines. The reason why I put a, a business in Pia is to give help to some uh, Filipinos. And here in Japan, having a business is just to be with my kababayan and to introduce uh, Filipino food, Japanese or America, whatever food I can do for my guests. And as a global inspiring uh, philanthropist, I'm doing uh, this start when I joined the beauty contest way, way back, maybe 31 years ago, as a Mokiana Madaluyo. And from then, I, I've been a model of uh, a youth. So, and then until I get, I came to Japan, I studied Japanese, and I got married with my only daughter, my Unika Ainaoki. And I started serving the church with my mentor since I was single and she's with me all the time. I was active in the church way, way back. And now I'm a president of a global uh, and guidance uh, building advocacy institution or Gabay. Actually, after this, uh, on Tuesday, we're going to Philippines, to Quezon, to share some blessing at the Bajo people. Uh, with this award, this is not first, my second as a Hall of Fame from uh, Ulila Foundation headed by uh, Joseph Salcedo de Leon. I would like to thank you so much for uh, recognizing my uh, advocacy. And I'm not gonna stop doing this thing. I'm a type of person doing something but I don't say. So again, thank you so much. Also, I share this. And to my mom, to my family, they don't know that I'm receiving an award. I just kind of surprised them because I'm going to put this in my cabinet again. This is my fourth award for one year. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias por ver el Award awardee aquí en Yokosuka City, Japan. Moving on with our next awardee. We are the Global Inspiring Outreach Event Supporter, Maria May Salcedo Pontanares, also Queen of Golden Arms 2016. To receive her award, may I call on her husband, Mr. Shuji Seda. And to present the trophy, may I call on their sons, Jonawa and uh, King Joe Sarah. And receiving, receiving the award on behalf of Maria May Salcedo Pontanales, Queen of Global Golden Hearts 2016, is her husband, Mr. Shuji Sera. And now let's listen to the message.
大成功を納められますよう、心からお祈りして、ご挨拶に返させていただきたいと思います。本日は素敵な賞をありがとうございました。Thank you very much. That's our global inspiring outreach event supporter. Receiving the award is her husband, Mr. Serva. Thank you. <laughs> Next awardee is the global inspiring Hall of Fame awardee as a model woman, Mrs. Asia Pacific Christine Jayan Cueto Nagasaka. She cannot make it with us today, but she wants to congratulate everyone. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, global inspiring Hall of Fame. Multi awarded model woman, Mrs. Asia Pacific, Christine Dayan Puerto Nagasaki. Next awardee is Global Inspiring Hall of Fame, awarded as the number one princess of Golden Hearts, Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, Princess Floreda Honda. To present the award, may I call on Dr. Sevilla tonight. And to do the imposition of such, may I call on Queen of Golden Hearts 2017, Queen Samantha Gold. This very day, tears rolled down my cheeks when th uh, thinking that I might be able to come. I couldn't understand what made me sad, but it only made me realize that this is where my heart belongs. My beloved co awardees, visitors, everyone that is here today, good afternoon to all of you. Receiving this award is in the heartwarming and nourishing a grateful heart. Why am I here? Why am I given an award? I started joining my company four years ago as a patient. It is the Tamayo Agro Veggie Product Distribution and Dr. Sibelio Tamayo as the president. The company manufactures and sells vegetable products that help me boost, that help boost the immune system of the body towards a better health. Our company's mission is to provide quality products to enrich and preserve the life of humanity for no specific time, no specific place. We give our services with a golden heart. It is in this way how Mr. Joseph de Leon met us. The passion I gave to the company on how to help sick people because I know how it feels to be sick. Thus, I had been on their situation and I have felt an almost death. Then, I had my outreach in San Buona City for helping the poor students in one of the schools and supporting the summer activities for children to become a better youth. My everyday way of em emphasizing to children and students the value of education has been my habit since I joined in this foundation. What truly made me stood firmly in this advocacy, not only to do our several outreach in poor students, but to be of service every day to cheer up and uplift patients 
with low spirit and able to smile even on their down moments. I have learned to deal and live with a loving heart. That is why I truly respect and admire Mr. Joseph Salcedo de Leon, who has ended a golden heart and staying strong even in his hard and tedious times. Everyone, how do we want to live our life? Having a warm will keep us inspired until it becomes our habit, as this is the essence of this award. After all, it is always best to have a happy and a golden heart. Above all, thank you to my company, Dr. Tamayo, my family, my husband, Dennis, and my daughter, Nika. Thank you to all of you, and to God. Coming up next is another award, Global Inspired Hall of Fame as Benevolent Queen of Golden Hearts in Japan. Queen of Golden Hearts 2016, Sandra Boltano Nagumo. And may I call Miss Judy Oki to present the whole thing such. I would like to thank uh, Montini Pusina, our sponsor for the snacks. Thank you. Also, a woman with a golden heart. Miss Irene Kawakubo with Boy and Partner. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our outgoing Queen of Golden Hearts 2016, Queen Sandra Bultana Nagumo. Hello, everyone, and congratulations to all awardees. And all the princess of Golden Hearts 2017. The Honorable Founder of Odila Foundation, Sir Joseph Salcedo de Leon. I am the outgoing Queen of Odila Foundation of Sir Joseph Salcedo de Leon. When I knew I am to be the Queen of this foundation, I could hardly express my feeling, joy, on and pride to be the blessed. Such an honorable position in this foundation. However, as this day, weeks, months, few that during my range, I become a, to be, become to realize that I also have a huge, unexpected task before me. During my range, I was able to help many kids in uh, orphanage in Thailand, and some of which are the project in Sambuanga City. I am very happy to say that the school children from my own country, the Philippines, and particular in Sambuanga City, were all benefits. Through our project, several TV sets were donated in Sambuanga City High School, Maine. For the student use drinking fountain were also donated in constructed at Ayala Central School and Labuan Central School. Aside from my facilitation accomplishment of this project, I also became an active participant in several musical and arts activities and become an awardist in Bangkok, Thailand for that awards. At this juncture, I am about to turn over my crown to the new 2017 Queen of Golden Hearts, Ulila Foundation. It is my sincere hope and prayer that my new and likewise worthy successor continue this good footprints. Have said that our work I may not delay. May my legacy be inspired to all of you, wherever blessing we have. Let's share to others because when we share so, 
that will also come become to us three four. My special thanks to goes to Sir Joseph Salcedo de Leon for being my great advisor, listening ear, and learning power during my range. To all my friends, thank you to all the wonderful mentors we share. You will always be the part of these memories I share and cherish. To my family, words cannot express my gratitude to always being there for me. All above, let us be thankful to our Lord for all the wonderful blessing we have received from Him. Global inspiring benevolent multi-awarded Malaysian beauty queen of Asia, Mrs. ASEAN of the universe, and the newly crowned Mrs. or Global Golden Hearts Queen 2017, Her Majesty Samantha Go from Malaysia. And to present the trophy, may I call on Princess Loreda Kendall of the Philippines. Let's now listen to Queen Samantha Go. Terima kasih Sir Joseph, Chiki Ethan Ibu Papa Swami. Thank you. I'm Mrs. Asian Samantha Go from Malaysia. Thank you, Sir Joseph, for nominating me. And as Mrs. Asian, I'm feeling really thankful and to be blessed with this award, Golden Hearts 2017. And um, I would like to thank Ms. TKS and Sons for giving me the opportunity to travel and to do charity work internationally. Finally, I want to thank my family, my parents, my husband and children from Malaysia for giving me time. Thank you. Next awardee is the Woman of the Universe during the Mrs. Universe 2016 and the Princess of Songs. Global inspiring Hall of Fame multi awarded model benevolent woman. This song artist, Emma Cordero. She cannot make it today because of her appointments. And I would like to call on Dr. Sabina Tamayo to receive the award for Miss Emma Cordero. To present the trophy, may I call on Princess Florida Corner. To all the audience, thank you very much for sharing your time for the community. Thank you as I'm also doing the same awards. May the awardees continue their benevolence from Emma Cordell. Next is the reigning princess of Golden Hearts, Japan. A businesswoman, global inspiring businesswoman and princess of Tokyo, Her Majesty, Princess Marilyn Babansat Yokokoji or Mama Aki of Ihara Shinjuku. To present the award, may I call on the Queen of Golden Hearts 2016, Queen Sandra Laguna. Seven different charity events in Tokyo in, and other parts of Canada or Asia. Thank you, Queen Sandra Laguna. Let's now listen to the message of Princess Marilyn. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na kay Sir Joseph Salcedo de Leon. Sa pagkakatong ito na maging inspirasyon sa lahat bilang simbolo ng pagsisikap at pagtulong sa community. Bilang Princess of Wadding Hearts, Japan, inaanyayahan ko ang lahat na ipakita ang ating simbolo ng kagandahan 
sa pamamagitan ng pagsisikap bilang para sa sarili, para sa bayan. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa inyo. The last but not least, global inspiring stage artist and former policeman in the Philippines, Mr. Dominador Allegra Jr. Mr. John Alejandro to present the show. Let's listen to the message of Mr. Dominador Alegre Jr., global inspiring stage artist. And extend my deepest gratitude to the people who recognized my talent as a portrait artist. Most especially to Sir Joseph de Leon, who has the eyes and appreciation for arts and portraiture. Thank you very much. At present, we live in a borderless world of art and technology that makes communication an instant success. When I was a kid back in the Philippines, I dreamt of painting portraits of famous personalities, not knowing that in the future, I'll be doing portraits of famous people here in Yukoska, a place I consider my second home. My talent brought me to a profession which I never dreamed of. I woke up one day wearing a uniform of a policeman with a 38 caliber on my right and a tattoo on my left. Most of the policemen in our place were very critical to a skinny new type, who is underage, underweight, and undergraduate of the force suited to a police officer. My father was there to defend me and told them that what the organization needs is a policeman who can grow the face of a criminal described by the witness. He told them that anybody can be a policeman, but not everybody can be an artist. Being in the police service for several years didn't stop my dream of studying abroad. I passed a scholarship grant to study in Japan in a course both Japanese art and culture. After finishing my course, I was employed in some English schools that made me decide to stay. It is always my desire to express my feeling through portraitures. For me, it expresses a thousand words through the sketches, shades, and colors in every masterpiece that I make. This is all I thank you very much. And what I'd like to give us a sash of Global Hall of Fame Awardee to Mama Aki. She also deserves to be a Hall of Famer award for her business. Okay. Mama Kaki is coming up with a project for the children in movies. It's her per first project being the princess of Tokyo. Thank you, Mama Aki, for the language. Thank you. For the past two months, we posted the pictures of the artists on Facebook. And we asked the people to share them, to show who will be this year's Facebook Choice Awardee. Ladies and gentlemen, the result, our Facebook Choice Awardee, we have a lot of shares on Facebook, is Mr. Joseph Pong. May I call on Mr. Judy Alton to please do the position of the sun. And I would like to acknowledge also Irene Kawakubo from the Tikusina.
to please award the sash to Miss Judith Oki as an audience idol award. This is an award who are given to the awarding who invited the most number of guests. Now we have congratulations. There you have our Facebook idol and audience idol award. will be entertained by her three songs rendition. Ladies and gentlemen, Imelda Ushimaru or Sparachas. Never, never, never wanna be alone. 
ABS event Zamboang original show, Mad TV, the Adonis Day, for giving us the opportunity to lay telecast the Global Golden Heart Awards 2017. And for our final song, we're going to give, bring this message dedicated to the Marawi victims. If we're going to make peace in our hearts, we can start together in making a difference. When we hear some call, then the world must come together as one. There are people dying, oh, it's time to turn again to life. The rain's gives up. I'm an introduce kita kon yung mga newly crowned queens of Global Golden Hearts 2017. With me is from Malaysia, the newly crowned Miss or Queen of Golden Hearts 2017. How do you feel now? As this will be the start of your one-year service to the foundation. I feel very honored and thankful, and I would promise to continue the one year until next year. Golden Hearts Award. Thank you, Sir Joseph, for inviting me. Thank you very much. That's Miss Samantha Go, the Queen of Golden Hearts 2017. Moving on to our first runner-up, we have Queen Veronica Yagi. Okay, magandang hapon. Magandang hapon po. Anong mensahe mo bilang isang crown first runner-up? Maraming maraming salamat po po, Sir Joseph, to give the opportunity to take this award. Thank you very much. And now we have the newly crowned 
although she has been doing a lot of activities right in the Philippines, the Queen of uh, Golden Hearts 2017, or Princess of Golden Hearts 2017, Philippines edition. Princess Floreda Conde. Uh, buenos dias lahat ng, sa lahat ng mga taga sa Buwanga. Everyone, good morning. So, naalala ko nag-outreach mission ka sa Talon Talon National High School last August 4th. Ano mensahe mo sa mga bata sa Sambuanga? Uh, sa servisyo mo bilang uh, uh, princess ng uh, Global, Global Golden Hearts Philippines? Uh, sa lahat ng mga bata na aming na, uh, tulungan doon sa Talon Talon National High School, Sambuanga City, um, gusto ko ipaabot sa inyo na ang pag-aaral ay siyang kayamanan ng ating uh, sa ating buhay. So, uh, pag-igihan natin ng ating pag-aaral para sa ganun, in the future, makatulong din tayo sa maraming tao and we, we can still have a golden heart to, to everybody. Maraming salamat po. Muchisimas gracias. Amo este el mga nuevo yang corona con el Queen of Golden Hearts 2017 both in Japan and in the Philippines. Muchisimas gracias. Mag TV Zamboanga. Global Golden Hearts Awards Season 3 Japan Edition Organized by the philanthropist Mr. Joseph Salcedo de Leon An award given to ordinary people with global accomplishments 